Positive Communication, Less Conflict, More Happiness, Audiobook. Chapter 1. The Foundations of Positive Communication. In a world where misunderstandings and conflicts are common, the art of positive communication stands as a beacon of hope and harmony. This chapter lays the foundation for a transformative journey toward better interactions and enhanced relationships. Here, we explore what positive communication is, why it matters, and how it can lead to less conflict and more happiness. Understanding Positive Communication Positive communication is an approach that focuses on sharing thoughts, feelings, and information in a way that is respectful, clear, and conducive to building strong relationships. It involves active listening, empathetic responses, and expressions that are supportive rather than critical. The aim is to foster an environment where all parties feel heard, understood, and valued. This method of communication does not merely avoid negativity, it actively promotes positive interactions. By prioritizing clarity, empathy, and respect, we can significantly decrease misunderstandings and conflicts, paving the way for more meaningful and satisfying connections. The importance of clarity. Clarity in communication is essential. It ensures that the message conveyed is understood precisely as intended, minimizing the chances for misinterpretation. To achieve clarity, it is crucial to use simple and direct language, avoid jargon and overly complex terms unless absolutely necessary, provide necessary context to prevent assumptions and misconceptions, be concise but thorough, ensuring all relevant information is included. When both parties understand each other clearly, there is a significantly reduced risk of conflicts arising from miscommunication. Embracing Empathy Empathy is at the heart of positive communication. It involves understanding and sharing the feelings of others, which fosters a deeper connection and a more compassionate interaction. Practicing empathy requires listening actively to what the other person is saying without planning your response while they speak, acknowledging their feelings, even if you do not agree with their perspective, responding in a way that shows you appreciate their emotions and viewpoint. By integrating empathy into your communication, you open the door to resolutions that satisfy everyone involved, reducing the likelihood of conflict and enhancing relational happiness. Active Listening Active listening is a critical skill in positive communication. It involves fully concentrating on the speaker, understanding their message, and responding thoughtfully. Active Listeners Maintain eye contact and use other nonverbal cues to show attentiveness. Refrain from interrupting the speaker. Summarize or paraphrase what has been said to confirm understanding. Ask open-ended questions to clarify points and encourage further discussion. This level of engagement shows respect for the speaker and helps ensure that the true essence of their message is received. Constructive Feedback Providing feedback in a constructive manner is another cornerstone of positive communication. Constructive feedback aims to encourage growth and improvement rather than to criticize or discourage. To give constructive feedback, focus on the behavior, not the person. Be specific about what needs to change and why. Offer suggestions for improvement. Highlight strengths as well as areas for development. This approach not only minimizes defensive reactions, but also promotes a supportive dialogue that can lead to effective solutions and personal growth. The foundations of positive communication, clarity, empathy, Active listening and constructive feedback are essential for reducing conflict and enhancing happiness. By mastering these elements, we can transform our interactions and build stronger, more joyful relationships. In the next chapter, we will delve into practical strategies for implementing these principles in everyday life, ensuring that positive communication becomes a consistent practice. Chapter 2. Cultivating a Positive Environment to excel in positive communication, create an atmosphere where openness and trust flourish. This is the soil where the seeds of understanding and cooperation take root. Here's how you can transform your environment to support this goal and truly connect with those around you. Establish trust. Trust is the cornerstone of any meaningful interaction. When trust is present, people feel safe to express their genuine thoughts and emotions without fear of judgment or reprisal. Build trust by being consistently honest and transparent in your dealings. Follow through on your promises 
and show that you are reliable. When others see that you are dependable, they are more likely to open up and engage in honest dialogue, encourage openness, encourage an atmosphere of openness by being approachable and non-judgmental, show that you value others' opinions by listening actively and responding with respect, regardless of whether you agree with them. This fosters a sense of inclusivity and respect, where every voice is heard and valued. Remember, a truly open environment is one where individuals feel they can speak their truth without fear. Promote mutual respect. Mutual respect is essential for positive interactions. Treat everyone with dignity and acknowledge their inherent worth. This respect should be reflected not only in how you speak, but also in how you listen. When people feel respected, they are more likely to reciprocate, creating a harmonious and supportive environment. This mutual respect paves the way for constructive discussions and collaborative solutions. Emphasize the positive. While it's important to address issues and challenges, Focusing on the positive aspects can dramatically change the tone of a conversation. Highlight successes and strengths before discussing areas for improvement. This approach not only boosts morale, but also makes it easier to engage in discussions about sensitive topics. People are more receptive to feedback when they feel appreciated and valued. Foster emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is key to effective communication. It involves understanding your own emotions and those of others and managing these emotions effectively. Develop your emotional intelligence by reflecting on your emotional responses and seeking to understand the emotions behind others' words and actions. This awareness allows you to respond more thoughtfully and effectively, minimizing conflicts and deepening connections. Be proactive in your communication. Don't wait for misunderstandings to escalate. Be proactive in your communication efforts. Address potential issues before they become problems by checking in regularly and creating opportunities for open dialogue. This proactive approach prevents many conflicts from arising and helps maintain a steady flow of communication, which is essential for any healthy relationship. By integrating these practices into your daily interactions, you set the stage for a transformative experience. This environment not only supports but also amplifies the benefits of positive communication, leading to stronger, more meaningful connections. Chapter 3 Mastering the Art of Empathetic Dialogue Empathetic dialogue is the heartbeat of positive communication. It allows us to connect deeply with others, understanding their perspectives and feelings on a profound level. Here are strategies to enhance your ability to engage in empathetic dialogue, ensuring that every conversation you have enriches both your life and the lives of others. Listen with your heart. Listening is not just about hearing words. It's about understanding the emotions behind them. To listen with your heart, you need to be fully present in the conversation, setting aside your own thoughts and judgments. Focus entirely on the other person, observing their body language and tone, which often convey more than words alone. This level of attentiveness shows genuine care and builds a strong emotional connection. Reflect and validate feelings. When you engage in empathetic listening, reflect back what you hear and validate the other person's feelings. This doesn't mean you have to agree with them, but acknowledging their feelings can be incredibly affirming. Say things like, It sounds like you're really passionate about this. Or, I can see why that would be frustrating. Such reflections show that you are engaged and that you respect their experiences. Ask insightful questions. To deepen your understanding of another's perspective, ask questions that encourage them to express themselves more fully. Use open-ended questions that prompt further thought and exploration, such as, How did that experience make you feel? Or, what would your ideal outcome be? These questions show that you value their input and are interested in more than just a superficial conversation. Practice patience. Empathetic dialogue often requires patience. Allow conversations to unfold naturally without rushing them. Sometimes people need a moment to gather their thoughts or find the courage to express difficult emotions. By giving them space and time, you make it clear that their thoughts and feelings are important to you fostering a deeper dialogue and connection. Use empathy to resolve conflicts. Empathy can transform conflicts by shifting the focus from winning an argument to understanding different viewpoints. Approach conflicts with an open mind and a desire to understand the other side. This can help de-escalate tension and lead to solutions that are acceptable to all parties. Remember, the goal is not to determine who is right, but to find a way forward that respects everyone's needs. Communicate with kindness. Every word you choose can either build or break a relationship. Choose words that are kind and constructive, even in difficult conversations. Approach each dialogue with the intent to heal, help, 
and harmonize, not to hurt or belittle. By consistently communicating with kindness, you'll find that others are more likely to respond in kind, creating a cycle of positive interaction. By practicing these principles of empathetic dialogue, you not only become a master of communication, but also a creator of joy and understanding in your interactions. This empowers you to build relationships that are rich in trust and mutual respect, filled with the warmth of genuine connection. Chapter 4. The Power of Positive Expression Harnessing the power of positive expression can revolutionize the way you interact and influence the world around you. It's about more than just avoiding negativity. It's about actively using your words to create a brighter, more supportive environment. Here's how you can master the art of positive expression and become a source of inspiration and encouragement to others. Affirm others regularly. One of the most impactful ways to use positive expression is to affirm others. Compliments, acknowledgments, and words of appreciation can boost morale and self-esteem. Make it a habit to genuinely praise the people around you for their efforts and achievements, no matter how small. This not only uplifts them, but also encourages them to continue their positive behaviors. Choose words that heal, not hurt. Words have immense power. They can heal or hurt. Be mindful of the words you choose, especially in sensitive situations. Use language that promotes healing and understanding, rather than words that could wound. For instance, instead of saying, you're wrong, you might say, I see it differently. Let's find a common ground. This approach opens up dialogue and maintains a positive tone. Frame challenges positively. When faced with challenges or negative situations, the way you articulate the problem can make a significant difference. Instead of focusing on the difficulty of a situation, frame it as an opportunity for growth. For example, instead of saying, this is impossible, try, this is challenging, but we can tackle it if we work together. Such framing helps maintain a hopeful perspective and encourages a solution-oriented mindset. Use encouraging language. Encouraging language motivates action and boosts confidence. When someone is facing difficulties, Words of encouragement can be a powerful motivator. Say things like, I believe in your ability to overcome this, or you have what it takes to solve this problem. This type of language helps others feel supported and believed in, which can be crucial in challenging times. Promote positivity in group settings. Whether in meetings, family gatherings, or social groups, promoting positivity can vastly improve the group dynamics. Actively contribute to a positive atmosphere by steering conversations away from gossip and negativity. Instead, encourage discussions about successes, ideas for improvement, and constructive feedback. This not only enhances the group's morale, but also aligns everyone towards positive outcomes. Express gratitude. Often gratitude is powerful. Regularly expressing gratitude can change the way you perceive your environment and how others perceive you. Make it a practice to express gratitude openly for both the big and small things in your life. This not only improves your well-being, but also encourages others to look for and appreciate the good in their own lives. By mastering positive expression, you become a catalyst for change in your environment. You create waves of positivity that can ripple out, influencing others to adopt a more optimistic and supportive approach to life. This shift in expression and attitude can fundamentally enhance the quality of your interactions and deepen your connections with others. Chapter 5. Harnessing the Power of Nonverbal Communication Nonverbal communication is a powerful tool in the art of positive interaction, often speaking louder than words. By mastering body language, facial expressions, and other forms of nonverbal cues, you can enhance your ability to convey compassion, sincerity, and positivity. Here are essential techniques to improve your nonverbal communication skills, making every gesture count towards building stronger, more empathetic relationships. Maintain open body language. Open body language is inviting and puts others at ease. Avoid crossing your arms or legs in a way that might seem defensive or closed off. Instead, keep your posture relaxed and open, which signals that you are approachable and ready to listen. Use gestures that indicate interest and engagement, such as nodding and leaning slightly forward when someone else is speaking. Be mindful of your facial expressions. Your face can express a multitude of emotions, often without you even realizing it. Being conscious of your facial expressions can help ensure that they match the tone and content of your conversation. Smile genuinely when appropriate, as smiles are contagious and create a positive atmosphere. Also, maintain eye contact to show respect and interest in the person you are communicating with. 
Utilize appropriate touch. Touch can be a powerful way to convey care and affirmation, but it's important to always respect personal boundaries. In contexts where it is appropriate, a gentle pat on the back or a warm handshake can reinforce your words and show genuine support and reassurance. Be sensitive to each person's comfort level with physical contact and always opt for actions that are considerate and well-received. Control the tone of your voice. The tone of your voice can convey a wide range of emotions and intentions. A warm, calm, and soft tone usually makes others feel at ease, encourages trust, and helps soothe anxiety. On the other hand, a harsh or loud tone might provoke stress or defensiveness. Pay attention to how you modulate your voice in different situations to ensure that your verbal message is reinforced rather than contradicted by your vocal tone. Reflect positive energy through proximity. The physical distance you maintain in interactions can impact how your communication is perceived. Being too far can seem disinterested, while being too close might feel intrusive. Find a comfortable balance where you respect personal space, yet remain close enough to engage effectively. This balance will vary from culture to culture and person to person, so stay adaptable and observant. Synchronize your actions with your words. Ensure that your nonverbal cues match your words. Inconsistencies between what you say and what you express through your body language can lead to confusion and mistrust. For instance, if you are trying to convey that you are sorry, a sincere facial expression and open posture can enhance the impact of your apology. By fine-tuning your nonverbal communication skills, you not only enhance your ability to express positivity and understanding, but you also become more attuned to the nonverbal cues of others. This heightened awareness can dramatically improve your interpersonal interactions, making you a more effective communicator and a deeply empathetic individual. Chapter 6 Cultivating Resilience in Communication Resilience in communication is about maintaining a positive and effective dialogue, even under stress or during conflict. It enables you to navigate through challenges without losing your composure or the respect of those you are communicating with. Here are key strategies to build and maintain resilience in your interactions, ensuring that you remain a steadfast and influential communicator, no matter the circumstances. Stay centered amidst conflict. When conflict arises, the ability to stay centered is crucial. Focus on maintaining a calm demeanor and a clear mind. Practice deep breathing or take a moment to collect your thoughts before responding. This allows you to approach the situation rationally and constructively, preventing the escalation of tension. Develop a positive mental attitude. A positive mental attitude can transform the way you perceive and react to challenges. Cultivate an outlook that focuses on solutions rather than problems. When you encounter communication barriers, instead of getting frustrated, think about what can be learned from the situation and how it can be resolved. This mindset not only alleviates stress but also inspires others to approach difficulties with a more constructive attitude. Embrace flexibility in responses. Flexibility is key to resilient communication. It involves adapting your style and strategy based on the situation and the people involved. Understand that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to effective communication. Sometimes, being assertive is necessary. Other times, a more empathetic or patient tone may be beneficial. By being flexible, you can respond in the most appropriate way, enhancing the effectiveness of your interactions. Maintain a sense of humor. Humor is a powerful tool for easing tension and building rapport. It can lighten the atmosphere and make difficult conversations more bearable. However, it's important to use humor appropriately and sensitively. When used correctly, Humor can bridge gaps and foster a spirit of camaraderie and understanding. Foster long-term relationships. Resilient communicators understand the value of long-term relationships. Invest time and effort into building and maintaining strong relationships with those around you. Strong relationships are built on mutual trust and respect, which can act as a buffer in times of stress and conflict. When challenges arise, a solid relationship foundation can make it easier to navigate through tough conversations. Practice self-reflection. Regular self-reflection is vital for developing resilience in communication. After interactions, especially challenging ones, take time to reflect on what went well and what could be improved. 
Consider how your actions and words impacted the outcome of the conversation. Self-reflection not only helps you learn and grow from each experience, but also helps in fine-tuning your communication skills over time. By incorporating these strategies into your daily interactions, you strengthen your capacity to communicate effectively, even in adverse conditions. Resilient communication is not just about getting through tough times. It's about emerging stronger and more adept at handling any situation with grace and efficacy. Chapter 7. The Art of Apology in Positive Communication Mastering the art of apology is essential for maintaining and restoring trust in any relationship. A sincere apology can heal wounds and mend bridges, reflecting strength, humility, and a commitment to positive communication. Here are essential guidelines for delivering apologies that not only express regret, but also promote forgiveness and reconciliation. Uh, acknowledge the mistake. Clearly, an effective apology starts with a clear acknowledgement of what went wrong. Be specific about the error or misjudgment and admit your role in the situation without making excuses. This shows that you have taken the time to reflect on the issue and understand the impact of your actions. Express sincerity and regret. The tone of your apology should convey genuine remorse. It's not just about saying the words. It's about communicating your feelings of regret and the desire to make things right. Let your voice and expressions reflect your sincerity. People can easily detect disingenuous apologies, which can further harm the relationship. Understand the impact of your actions. To apologize effectively, you must understand and acknowledge how your actions affected the other person. This requires listening to their perspective and empathizing with their feelings. By demonstrating that you grasp the consequences of your actions, you validate their feelings and pave the way for healing. Offer to make amends. Where possible, offer a way to rectify the situation or compensate for the harm caused. This might involve replacing something that was broken, redoing a task that was done poorly, or simply making a commitment to change behavior in the future. An offer to make amends shows your commitment to not just apologize, but also to correct the course. Ask for forgiveness. After expressing your apology and any steps you're taking to make amends, ask for forgiveness. This gives the other person a chance to express their feelings and decide how they want to proceed. It also shows that you respect their feelings and are not assuming automatic forgiveness. Learn from the experience. Finally, Use the experience as a learning opportunity. Reflect on what led to the mistake and how you can prevent similar issues in the future. Demonstrating that you are willing to learn and grow from your errors can strengthen trust and show that your apology is part of a genuine effort to improve. Apologizing is not just about saying I'm sorry. It's about showing that you care enough to mend what was broken and are committed to a healthier, more positive interaction moving forward. By mastering the art of apology, you enhance your ability to communicate positively, turning potential conflicts into opportunities for growth and deeper understanding. Chapter 8. Enhancing Communication with Active Listening Active listening is a cornerstone of effective communication, allowing you to fully engage with and understand the speaker, creating a strong foundation for trust and mutual respect. Here's how you can hone your active listening skills to become not just a listener, but a communicator who truly connects with others and fosters positive interactions. Give full attention. When someone is speaking, give them your undivided attention. This means setting aside distracting thoughts and avoiding multitasking. Focus entirely on the speaker, showing interest through eye contact and appropriate body language. By being fully present, you convey that what they have to say is important to you. Avoid interrupting. Interrupting someone while they are speaking can make them feel undervalued and can disrupt the flow of communication. Hold your response until the speaker has finished their point. This patience allows the speaker to fully express themselves and shows respect for their thoughts and feelings. Use paraphrasing. To ensure that you have correctly understood the speaker's message, paraphrase their words back to them. For example, say something like, what I'm hearing is that you feel. This technique not only confirms your understanding, but also makes the speaker feel heard and validated. Ask clarifying questions. 
If certain points are unclear, ask questions that help clarify the speaker's message. Use open-ended questions that encourage them to elaborate and provide more detail. This shows that you're interested in understanding their perspective completely and are engaged in the conversation. Show empathy. Empathetic responses are key to active listening. They involve acknowledging the speaker's feelings and reflecting them back. Showing empathy can help the speaker feel supported and understood, which is especially important in conversations that involve emotions or sensitive topics. Provide feedback. Appropriate feedback can be very affirming for the speaker. Provide feedback that is constructive and positive, and that contributes to the conversation. Feedback should be given in a respectful and supportive manner, aiming to build up the conversation rather than detract from it. Be aware of nonverbal cues. While listening, pay attention to the speaker's nonverbal cues, such as facial expressions, gestures, and tone of voice. These can provide additional insight into their feelings and message. Responding to these cues appropriately can enhance understanding and communication. By practicing active listening, you transform every conversation into an opportunity for deeper connection and learning. This approach not only improves your relationships, but also makes you a more effective and empathetic communicator, valued by all who interact with you. Chapter 9. Building Bridges with Words Effective communication is not just about exchanging information. It's about building bridges between people, fostering understanding and unity. To be a bridge builder with your words, you must use language that connects, heals, and empowers. Here are essential strategies to help you use your words to foster stronger connections and create a positive impact in your communications. Speak with inclusivity. Inclusive language acknowledges diversity and shows respect for all individuals. Use terms that embrace a wide range of cultures, genders, and backgrounds, and avoid phrases that marginalize or stereotype. Inclusivity in your language makes everyone feel valued and contributes to a more harmonious environment. Focus on common ground. When faced with differences, focus your dialogue on areas of agreement before discussing areas of disagreement. Starting conversations on common ground establishes a positive base and mutual respect making it easier to navigate through more contentious issues. This approach encourages compromise and collaborative solutions. Use positive reinforcement. Encourage positive behavior and attitudes by acknowledging and reinforcing them. When you see someone making an effort or contributing positively, highlight it with affirming words. This not only boosts the individual's morale, but also promotes a culture of positivity and recognition within the group. Be clear and concise. Clarity and brevity in communication prevent misunderstandings and keep the conversation direct and purposeful. Avoid using overly complex language or excessive detail that might cloud your main points. Clear and concise communication respects the listener's time and attention, making your messages more impactful. Promote dialogue, not monologue. Good communication is a two-way street. Ensure that your conversations allow for dialogue where both parties contribute equally. Encourage others to share their thoughts and feelings and genuinely consider their input. This balance in communication demonstrates that you value their perspectives as much as your own. Adapt your language to your audience. Understand who you are speaking to and tailor your language accordingly. Different audiences may require different styles of communication, whether it's changing the level of formality, the complexity of the information, or the kind of humor used. Adapting your language to fit your audience shows respect and enhances understanding. Empower with your words. Use your language to empower others. Words have the power to inspire and motivate. Speak to people's potential rather than their current state, encouraging them to envision and strive for a brighter future. When people feel empowered, they are more likely to act confidently and effectively. By integrating these strategies into your everyday communication, you become a master at building bridges with words. This approach not only enriches your personal and professional relationships, but also turns every interaction into an opportunity for positive change and mutual growth. Chapter 10. The Impact of Consistency in Communication Consistency in communication is crucial for building trust and credibility. When your words and actions align regularly over time, people begin to rely on what you say and trust in your integrity. 
Here's how to ensure consistency in your communication, reinforcing your role as a dependable and trustworthy communicator. Establish reliable patterns. Create a pattern of reliability in your interactions by being consistent with your communication habits. Whether it's responding to messages promptly, following up on commitments, or regularly checking in with your team, consistency in these small actions builds a strong foundation of trust. Align actions with words. Ensure that your actions match your words. If you commit to something verbally, follow through with corresponding actions. This alignment reassures others of your reliability and strengthens your relationships. It also minimizes confusion and doubt, making your communications more effective. Maintain your message over time. Consistency in your core messages reinforces their importance and helps them resonate more deeply with your audience. If you are working towards a goal or advocating for a cause, reiterating your key messages can keep them clear and central in the minds of your listeners. This repetition not only emphasizes your dedication, but also enhances the clarity of your intentions. Be predictable in your values. Let your fundamental values shine consistently through your communication. When people know what you stand for, it becomes easier for them to predict how you will react in various situations, which builds trust. Consistency in expressing your values also attracts like-minded individuals and fosters an environment of mutual respect and understanding. Handle inconsistencies. Transparently, inevitably, there may be times when inconsistencies arise. When they do, address them openly and honestly. Acknowledge any deviations from your usual patterns and explain the reasons behind them. Transparency in such situations helps maintain trust and shows that you are committed to accountability. Standardize your communication style. While adapting to different audiences is important, having a standardized approach to how you communicate fundamental aspects of your work or personality can help people understand and predict your communication style. This doesn't mean being inflexible, but rather having a consistent baseline from which adjustments can be made. By practicing consistency in these areas, you not only enhance your reputation as a communicator, but also create an atmosphere of stability and reliability. Consistent communication acts as an anchor in relationships, providing a dependable foundation upon which strong, lasting connections can be built. Chapter 11. Transforming Challenges into Opportunities Through Communication Every challenge you encounter in communication offers a unique opportunity for growth and innovation. By reframing obstacles as opportunities, you can turn potential setbacks into powerful catalysts for enhancement and change. Here's how to apply this transformative approach to your communication strategies, enabling you to thrive even in the face of difficulties. Reframe the narrative. Begin by changing the narrative around challenges. Instead of viewing them as roadblocks, see them as chances to improve your skills and strengthen your relationships. For instance, a misunderstanding could be seen as a chance to explore deeper levels of clarity and understanding in your communication. This positive reframing shifts your mindset, making you more open to finding creative solutions. Emphasize learning. Every communication challenge carries a lesson. Focus on what can be learned from each situation rather than dwelling on what went wrong. Ask yourself and others involved what insights can be gathered and how these can be applied in the future. This learning-centric approach not only resolves current issues, but also prepares you better for future interactions. Cultivate flexibility. Adopt a flexible mindset that allows you to adjust your strategies and approaches based on the situation. Flexibility enables you to navigate through communication challenges more effectively. It involves being open to new ideas, adjusting your plans as needed, and always looking for alternative solutions. Encourage collaboration. When faced with communication challenges, involve others in the solution-finding process. Collaboration can bring in new perspectives and ideas that you might not consider on your own. It also strengthens the bonds between team members as they work together towards a common goal, enhancing mutual understanding and support. Use challenges to strengthen relationships. Each challenge you face with someone can serve to strengthen your relationship with them provided it is handled with care and respect. Use these situations as opportunities to demonstrate your commitment to the relationship by showing empathy, maintaining openness, 
and working diligently towards a resolution. These actions build trust and show your dedication to maintaining a positive connection. Innovate and experiment. Challenges are perfect opportunities for innovation. They push you to think outside the box and experiment with new forms of communication. Whether it's trying out new technologies to stay connected or adopting new communication techniques, use challenges as a springboard for innovation. This not only resolves the immediate issue, but also enhances your overall communication repertoire. By transforming communication challenges into opportunities, you not only overcome the immediate hurdles, but also enhance your overall effectiveness as a communicator. This approach not only resolves issues, but also propels you towards continuous improvement and success in all your interpersonal endeavors. Chapter 12. Cultivating Lasting Impact Through Strategic Communication To leave a lasting impact through your communication, you must strategize thoughtfully and aim for sustained influence. Effective communication isn't just about conveying information. It's about inspiring change, fostering understanding, and building legacies. Here's how to ensure that your communication not only reaches, but also resonates deeply, creating lasting ripples of impact. Set clear objectives. Start by clearly defining what you want to achieve with your communication. Whether it's to inform, persuade, motivate, or reconcile, having a clear objective guides your strategy and helps you tailor your message for maximum impact. This clarity ensures that every word you speak or write moves you closer to your goal. Build credibility. Trust and credibility are vital for impactful communication. Establish yourself as a trustworthy source by consistently providing accurate information, showing reliability, and being transparent in your dealings. When people trust you, they are more likely to take your words seriously and be influenced by them. Engage emotionally. People remember how you made them feel long after they forget what you said. Engage your audience on an emotional level by telling compelling stories, sharing personal experiences, and expressing genuine emotions. Emotional engagement makes your message more memorable and impactful. Utilize multiple channels. To maximize your reach and impact, utilize multiple channels of communication. This could include speeches, social media, emails, blogs, and face-to-face -face interactions. Each channel has unique strengths and reaches different audiences. Using a combination of these can enhance your overall effectiveness. Encourage action. For communication to have a lasting impact, it must inspire action. Clearly articulate what actions you hope your audience will take. Provide them with the tools or steps necessary to act. When people engage actively with your message, it embeds deeper into their consciousness and leads to real change. Follow-up. Impactful communication doesn't end with the delivery of a message. Follow-up is essential. Check back in with your audience to reinforce your message, offer additional support, and gauge the effect of your communication. This not only shows that you care about the outcomes, but also helps you refine your approach based on feedback. Measure impact. Finally, measure the impact of your communication efforts. Use feedback, surveys, and other metrics to understand how your message is being received and what influence it has had. This information is invaluable for continuous improvement and helps you make more informed decisions in future communications. By implementing these strategies, your communication will not only be heard, but will also have a meaningful and lasting impact. This approach ensures that your efforts contribute positively to the lives of others and to the broader goals of your community or organization leaving a legacy of positive change inspired by your words.